All right, blockchain buddies, let's get right to the bottom of this. Is Cardano really one of the most undervalued cryptos out there? Let's find out. Now, Cardano has had its fair share of ups and downs, with investors all over the map on this one. On one side, you've got the Cardano diehards celebrating its innovative technology and grand plans for the future. But then the critics chime in, pointing out how slowly Cardano seems to be delivering and its limited real-world use cases so far. So who's right in this debate? To figure out Cardano's true value and growth potential, we'll address three key things in this video. The tech side of things, how many folks are actually using Cardano today, and the wider crypto market environment. We'll check out Cardano's features and what upgrades are in the pipeline to see how it stacks up technologically. We'll examine metrics like transaction volumes and dApp development to gauge the real adoption of the Cardano network. And we'll analyze factors impacting the crypto market as a whole to understand where Cardano sits in relation to the rest. By the end of our time together, I think the analysis will show us whether Cardano really does deserve that title of most undervalued crypto. But first, let's get up to speed on Cardano's backstory from its founding purpose to where it's at in the crypto universe today. So if you're trying to decide whether Cardano is a buy, hold, or sell, as $10 to $20 predictions start floating around, stick around for my unbiased assessment of Cardano's fundamentals, progress to date, and true moon potential. And hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future deep dives into the cryptos flying under the radar. Let's take a look at how Cardano is positioned from a technology and development standpoint. Cardano was designed with some big goals in mind, to be more secure, sustainable, and scalable than previous blockchains. It uses a programming language called Haskell that's meant to minimize bugs and errors. Cardano is also proof-of-stake, meaning it uses significantly less energy than proof-of-work networks. Among Cardano's key features are its layered architecture and built-in smart contract functionality. Smart contracts launched on Cardano last September, allowing dApps to run on the network, and future upgrades like Hydra and Basho are meant to significantly scale Cardano's throughput and transaction speeds. Cardano also has a structured research and development process, where updates are implemented methodically in phases. This contrasts with some competitors taking a more experimental approach. So while Cardano has been criticized for moving slowly, its meticulous development process aims to ensure features work properly from the start, and recent milestones like smart contracts and dApp development show Cardano's future upgrades could position it well relative to Ethereum and other competitors. Cardano's technical design goals, layered architecture, and planned scaling solutions demonstrate some important advantages. But the key question is whether Cardano can deliver on its roadmap for upgrades and implement them successfully to position itself as a best-in-class blockchain network. That said, how is Cardano actually being used today? When it comes to usage stats and raw transaction volumes, Cardano is still lagging behind networks like Ethereum and Solana. Daily transactions on the Cardano blockchain currently number in the hundreds of thousands. In comparison, Ethereum routinely sees over a million transactions per day. In terms of dApp development, there are currently around 300 projects built on Cardano, a fraction of the thousands of dApps on Ethereum. And while the number of Cardano dApps is growing, many are still in the early stages of development. In the DeFi space, Cardano has a small but growing number of protocols for lending, staking, and decentralized exchanges. However, the total value locked in Cardano DeFi projects remains in the hundreds of millions, far behind networks like Ethereum and Solana. Overall, Cardano is still very much in its early adoption phase. Real-world applications and partnerships are starting to emerge across sectors like identity, supply chain, and healthcare, but the network needs much greater usage to realize its lofty scaling and performance targets. In conclusion, while Cardano has potential due to its technical design, progress on real adoption has been limited. The million-dollar question is whether investors will choose to build on Cardano at the massive scale needed for it to compete at the top. For now, Cardano lags behind competitors, but the race for adoption is a long one. The next factor involves the wider crypto market environment that impacts all projects, including Cardano. There are several macro factors that could benefit or hinder Cardano's growth trajectory. First, continued mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies as an asset class would likely boost Cardano's usage and visibility. 
but regulatory clarity from governments on crypto could go either way for Cardano. Also, another crypto bull run fueled by increased investment flows would provide a tailwind for all projects, including Cardano. However, a prolonged crypto winter could have an uneven impact on early stage networks with less usage like Cardano. Finally, innovation and competition from other blockchains pose risks for Cardano. Its network effects and adoption could stagnate if competitors like Solana and others continue growing faster. When we look at Cardano's performance relative to the broader crypto market, we see a mixed picture. While ADA has outperformed Bitcoin over the last year, it has badly lagged the growth of Ethereum and many altcoins. However, historical market cycles suggest blockchain networks can see tremendous value creation many years after launch. So while Cardano lags today, sustained progress and execution could eventually propel it forward. Macro factors outside of Cardano's control will continue impacting its potential. Uncertainties stemming from regulation, investor sentiment shifts, and competition pose risks to any bullish long-term predictions. So before I give any estimates on its placement in the coming years, and before the arm-swinging enthusiasts come for my head, I'd like to point out that Cardano's positioning in the wider crypto ecosystem will ultimately depend on its ability to differentiate and capture a significant market share. Now, based on the three factors we analyzed, Cardano's tech progress, current adoption levels, and the wider crypto market environment, here's my Cardano price prediction for the next two to three years. If Cardano continues ramping up development, delivering on milestones, and gaining real-world usage at a healthy clip over the next two years, and if the crypto market as a whole remains bullish, fueling greater investment flows and an uptick in mainstream adoption, then I do believe Cardano has the potential to hit between $5 to $10 per ADA by next year and $8 to $15 by 2025. Now this may sound like lofty predictions, but here's why I believe the factors justify a higher valuation for Cardano. First, Cardano's layered architecture, proofs of concept from early dApp developers, and planned scaling upgrades show that the network has the technical foundations for long-term value creation. Second, Cardano still has ample room to gain market share relative to top networks like Ethereum, especially if it delivers on key upgrades that improve usability. Third, Cardano benefits from a passionate and rapidly growing community, a key ingredient to driving broader awareness, usage, and value. However, for these price targets to become a reality, Cardano needs to significantly ramp up developer acquisition, dApp activity, and real-world applications over the next couple of years. Successfully implementing scalability upgrades will also be critical to gaining ground on competitors. While bullish Cardano predictions abound, much depends on the project's ability to execute and differentiate itself going forward. My price targets reflect what I consider to be realistic yet optimistic scenarios based on sustained progress around technology, adoption, and awareness. Higher prices are certainly possible, but much could also go wrong on Cardano's journey to the top. Let's go on to determine Cardano's true value based on fundamentals. We have used our coin graphy scale to assign scores for key criteria including technology, market performance, adoption, and community. In terms of technology and innovation, Cardano scores an 8 out of 10. Its proof-of-stake design, layered architecture, and use of Haskell set it apart, though some criticize its slow, methodical development process. Based off market performance, Cardano scores a 7. Its market cap and liquidity place it in the top 10 cryptos, but it has lagged the growth of leading altcoins in recent years. When it comes to real-world adoption, Cardano scores a 9. Though transactions and usage are still low compared to competitors, it has the potential for widespread adoption in sectors like identity, supply chain, and DeFi due to its smart contract functionality. In terms of community and development, Cardano scores a 6. Its community is large and passionate, but critics argue the prime the project lacks sufficient involvement from skilled developers and technical contributors. Overall, ADA scores 7.5 points out of a possible 10. Pretty good, yeah? Good enough to invest in right now? Head down to the comments to let me know your thoughts. Of course, this score would indicate Cardano is fundamentally sound, with notable strengths in innovation and potential adoption. But it faces challenges in terms of market performance, developer acquisition, and community composition. 
Over time, Cardano will need to increase its score across all criteria, particularly community, if it wants to realize its lofty predictions and price targets. In summary, after analyzing Cardano's technology progress, adoption levels, and wider crypto market position, I do believe Cardano remains undervalued at its current price. While Cardano still lags behind competitors in terms of usage, transactions, and developer adoption today, its technical design, thoughtful roadmap, and massive growth runway point to significant value creation potential in the years ahead. The crypto market has a habit of undervaluing early stage projects that are making steady but unspectacular progress, and that seems to describe Cardano's situation today. But over longer time horizons, fundamental progress often wins out, propelling once overlooked networks to the top. That said, crypto markets are inherently volatile and unpredictable, with too many external factors and black swan events that can derail even the best laid plans. So any bullish Cardano predictions must come with huge caveats. Ultimately, I remain cautiously optimistic about Cardano's long-term value proposition for patient investors focused on fundamental progress and technical differentiation, not short-term price fluctuations. If Cardano can sustain its methodical yet ambitious development agenda, capture significant market share, and effectively differentiate its features and value prop, I believe it has the potential to become one of the biggest blockchain success stories in the years ahead. But for now, Cardano remains an undervalued underdog in my view, with plenty left to prove at a massive scale to justify lofty predictions and price targets. Its price growth in the coming years will depend largely on its ability to successfully execute the expansive vision laid out by its founders. You've watched to this point, and I'd like to say a massive thank you for your support so far. If you found this video interesting, then you would definitely enjoy watching this next video. Don't forget to subscribe as we journey through the fantastic world of crypto together. Until next time, cheers.